Okay, let's uh, do question 28 together now. And what you see are, it's really just a fraction question, nothing more than that. If we read the question first, you can see down below it says, which, or pardon me, what is the sum of the shaded areas in the three circles above if each circle represents one unit? So each one of the little pies up above represents a fraction, and you can see that our answers will be in some kind of a, a mixed number. Well, this is actually uh, very easy to solve. Remember, you will have a four-function calculator, and you should use it whenever possible. And the thing that we need to do first is determine what the fractions are, how they can be added, and then see if they can be reduced. So let's do step one. The first thing that I would recommend that you do is get the common de denominators for each of these uh, little pies. And so to do that, let's just count them off. We got one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, and 8, that's pi 1, pi 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then the last one we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, to get the denominators then, in the first pi that's going to be 8, that's our denominator. In our second pi that's going to be 6, and 7 will be our last pi. So now what we need to concern ourselves with is the uh, numerators, the shaded areas. So in pi 1, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the first one is 5 eighths. See that? This is 1 6 because there's only one shaded area in there. And then the last one is 3 sevenths. Now, in order to add these things together, what we need to do is get a common denominator. Now, since you have your, your handy little four-function calculator, you can simply multiply. Uh, let me do that uh, down here, if I may. You're going to multiply 8 times 6 times 7, and that's going to uh, give you uh, 336. Now start looking at the answers, and you see that uh, 1 uh, with uh, 205 over 336 may be a possibility. It's not. It's not the right one, of course, but it, uh, it certainly could be a possibility at this point. So now what we need to do is get uh, the numerators. Now watch. We have, as our numerators, 5 plus 1 plus 3. But the problem is that, remember, that when we multiply the denominators by certain numbers, we have to multiply the numerators by certain numbers. So I'm going to go back up to the top, up to the top right here, and show you that what we would multiply 5 by would be 6 times 7. We don't need to multiply it also by 8 because 8 is already the, the denominator. For 1, 6, well, what we're going to multiply 1 by will be 8 and 7, 8 times 7, times 1. And then for our last fraction, we will be multiplying that by 8 times uh, 6. So if you just look across then, when we multiply the denominators together, 8 times 6 times 7, to get our common denominator, what we need to do next is multiply those numerators not by the denominator that we have but by the denominators that we didn't use. So in the case of 5, that is going to t turn it into 5 times 6 times 7 is going to become uh, 210. 8 times 7 times 1 is going to become 56. And uh, 8 times 6 times uh, 3 is going to give us uh, 144. So what we're really adding together now will be 210 times fi or plus 56 plus 144. And that is going to add up to 410 over 336. Well, notice that A... B, C, and D are all expressed as mixed numbers, so we need to divide uh, 336 into 410, and that is going to give us 1 and 74 over 336, because 74 would be our uh, remainder. Now notice it's not on the list, and that's because we've got to reduce. Since 4 and 6 are both even numbers, I know I can divide them by 2, and by dividing by 2 I will ultimately arrive at the following. I'm going to get 1 with 37 over 168. 
that's as far as it can go because I can't divide anything into 7 or into 8 or and so forth in order to reduce any further. And you can see uh, clearly that it is answer C. So hopefully that explanation made sense to you. On any of these, if they don't, you got to email me so that I can find another way to explain it. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that it was clear. All right, well, thanks. Uh, let's go on to 29.